Well, hello everybody. Welcome back up into the bear's den for the very traditional look at what is growing on here as uh, another Sunday rolls on by in my indoor gardens. Excuse the peach tea. I'm a little parched today. And um, we can take a look at how the arrow garden is doing with the next round of sprouts. I'm pleased to say, considering they were all home safe saved seeds home saved seeds that uh, we've already got some coming up so that is exciting tragically as far as this whole big garden plan goes i didn't get any of the fresh seeds that i was kind of planning on doing this week but well i guess it gives me a project for next week and hopefully i'll actually remember to get it done this time yeah, there's good news, there's bad news, there's interesting news, so I figure we should probably just get started looking at plants and, uh, well, discussing the news. So, when we lift up the light for the Arrow Garden Harvest Classic with seed tray, blah, 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 we have excellent news. Here's the Trinidad Bean. This puppy is looking fantastic. It can definitely come out of here now. It doesn't need to be babysat anymore. However, our other little chocolate reaper didn't make it. So, bit of sad news there. If you recall, these two rows were the cherry bomb peppers. And I've got two popping up in this pod. Looks like one might be trying in there. Got one kind of coming up in there. Looks like maybe some coming up in there. So that is exciting. This middle patch would be the lemon habaneros that I saved from last year. Got one coming up here, one there, one there. Looks like maybe one there. So it's what, a week? That's not bad. And over here in the ones that looked like a larger cayenne pepper, I can definitely see one sprouting up in there. And looking under the Trinidad bean, I can just sort of see one about to pop up there. So in the next couple of days, this should look quite pretty indeed. I will be curious to see what the total sprout rate is because I did, you know, really over plant these. So yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. But so far, all of these varieties, you know, excluding the Trinidad bean back there, all of these new varieties have proven themselves in the, you know, Southwest Manitoba, very short growing season. So Ultimately, that's what I want. I want to be able to produce large amounts of peppers that I can dry up and have for years to come as assorted little pepper blends because, well, after a while it gets to be kind of like wine and you just enjoy the various flavors that each year produces, which is a little weird, but yeah, that's me. Anyway, very excited to see these cherry bombs because they're a nice meaty sort of pepper when they're fresh. I'm very excited to see these lemon habaneros. If you don't know why, check back on last year's harvest videos. They were very productive for me. And yeah, these large cay cayennes, you can't really, can't really go wrong with a cayenne pepper. They're such a wonderful flavor. Mmm, that is so nice. Gonna have to transplant that out probably next week. We shall see. Anyway, close that back down such a vicious way to shut that one i definitely prefer the newer elite model for the raising and lowering of the light anyway let's look under the shop lights and down here we can take a look at how some of those transplants from the first batch of seedlings are doing and it seems to me they're all doing really quite well i fear that there may be some aphids in here um i'm still going to say they originated in that other arrow garden so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do about that there have been a host of suggestions over the years because this is not a new problem for me so i'm probably going to go and try maybe a few old tricks maybe try some new things might just make a transfer station down in the basement where infected peppers can just get on out of here yes almost used a bad expression there naughty bear naughty bear but otherwise, you know, and even with the ones that do seem to have a few potential little problems, the plants themselves look very healthy. So I'm very encouraged by that. Looking at my double planting here, the oregano has finally given up the ghost. But the aloe is doing just fine. We look into the center. Our little tip has grown a little bit more. So it's slow, but on the grow. In the world of good news, the bootless scorpion after transplant 
look at all of that new growth that is fantastic i was so nervous cutting that back but we can see those interior branches have done just as i had hoped and they've all kind of sprouted out new leaf nodes and we're going to get a nice fresh flush of growth on that so many thanks to those who have recommended repotting it up it was a good idea i really need to act on these suggestions faster to save a lot of plants the trauma the trinidad scorpion butch tea red here we can also see some new growth on there there's a few flowers very exciting it looks like it's going to be able to make it through and over with the bootla clamshell which did not get transplanted there's really not a lot going on there's a couple of places or maybe there's some new growth from the the fertilizer i put in there but really not much looking at the smaller bad brains pepper here did not get transplanted and is not improving in any way shape or form and the orange habanero is kind of in the same situation beside it there we do have a little cluster of new growth with a flower bud on it there and a little cluster up there looking further up the branches you know there are a few places but i think this could probably benefit from a larger pot so I'm probably going to do that based on the results we're seeing in those, those two in the back. It seems like it's worth it. I don't know about that bad brains though because science and stuff and there is after all this rather delightful example of a bad brains pepper beside me here that I think, you know, if it survives and transplants outside nicely should do fairly well. So I'm hopeful there too yeah very interesting some spider plants and stuff in the background spider plants everywhere in my house absolutely lovely maybe borderline too many of them but absolutely lovely anywho so yes this is how that mo Ooh, there goes a the leaf should have shaken this before i whipped out the video camera anyway yeah the oregano in this double planting is doing just fine glad to see that Soil seems to hold the, the water a little bit better in uh, this much larger planter, though, than the aloe has over in its little chamber pot looking thing. Anywho, let us wander down into the basement and we'll take a look at um, the previously aphid infested arrow garden and how things are growing down there. So I guess we'll start with the worst of the news down here. That is the remains of the mini jalapeno. Gave it lots of water, didn't seem to like the transfer these things do happen spider plants back there that were so previously abused though seem to be loving life in general and the calancho seems to enjoy the new fluorescent light fixture above it so that is all good and here we have the uh, little red tie type peppers what are they red fire peppers I can just barely read that tag at the bottom and we can see that the aphid population is definitely reduced almost gone looking in the middle here i can see some new flowers that have opened up looking at this one here is a flower hanging on there quite a few pods another one in there oh nice big open one in the center there so i'm very hopeful that these will still be able to go on and produce in the arrow garden you know from start to finish and it is still running on just aquaponic water in there i haven't bothered any any other nutrients so far and that really does seem to be working and from the world it does seem to be working i'm also really impressed impressed with uh, how well those are capping the back there kind of looks like there may be a few aphids on my actual arrow garden surface here so i'm going to want to wash that again which i guess means soaking the plants off again i have no idea how that's going to affect the uh, the flowers that are on there hopefully they will have already set by the time i get started with that and everything will be just fine right 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 yeah we can hope we can hope looking down here at a couple of things that will be going outside this bog mint seems to be appreciating the new light that's above it there its water level has gone down huh, i'd say an inch or so over the last week so it's clearly doing something with all that energy that's nice to see it's a very spindly sort of mint but uh up until now it hasn't exactly had a light of its own so that's not too bad the mouse melon beside it here lots of greenery on there doesn't seem to be 
working towards this light just yet. But I'm sure we'll see those tendrils come out in time. Need to get a little basin or something underneath this so uh, when I water it, the water doesn't all just kind of run off my plywood. But I will figure that out eventually. That maybe we try looking at the fish from this side, see if that works any better. Really doesn't. I need some sort of under garden bed lighting set up there. Maybe I'll find some more of those uh, stick on LEDs and do something with that. Looking at the aquaponics, let me just hold that to the side. We've got the parsley here. Not looking too bad, really. It's definitely leaning towards that uh, Sansi 70 watt light. Pretty decent little LED though, I'd say. I mean, I do seem to be getting larger sage leaves than I was getting under the fluorescent lights. You can see some of the older ones here, you know. A little smaller by comparison, so that is nice. I was hoping that this changeover would give me a, a broader sage leaf. More to burn, more to cook with. It's all good either way. That mint, again, kind of a spindly mint, but you'll notice the notes are getting shorter as it gets closer. This one, which is uh, years of evolution down here in the dungeon, seems to be a little more compact. But I think the plant itself is used to, uh, well, just lower levels of light in general and has kind of modified itself to work with that. These are cuttings from the mint that we bought probably two years ago at least. So not bad, not bad. The basil over here I've recently trimmed off some of the larger leaves, fed them to the fish. We'll see, hopefully we'll get some regrowth out of the middle. And if we look down at the time, I was hoping this angle would be better for this. And see, there is definite green growth on there. Some definite green growth in there. So I'm glad I didn't pull it yet. It's a very slow grower, that is for sure. And I might try moving it maybe to uh, where that little, just barely hanging on oregano is. I'm not, not feeling too strongly for its future. So we'll see. A little bit more towards the center of the light might be just what that needs. I don't really know just yet. But yeah, the aquaponic mint is definitely rocking it out. The sage is doing well, the parsley's doing well. All things considered, you know, for a Manitoba February, that's not a bad little herb garden for, uh, well, I think we can safely call this a poorly insulated basement. Yes. Poorly insulated, nice way to say that. All right, which kind of takes us to this dead space here, which is where I'm also gonna wrap up today's video. The pitcher plant tragically is no longer with us and this little bubbler thing clearly did not work. So I'm going to clear this space off and I wondered where my pruning snips had gone. Anyway, I'm gonna clear this space off fire up that 15 watt Sansi LED. And I think we are gonna get started on some tomatoes here in the next week or so. That traditional planting in soil, you know, blah, 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 should all be fine. I'm gonna go with mostly miniature and cherry types. I got some pear tomatoes and grape tomatoes and cherry tomatoes and all those smaller ones seem to do really well out here, very nicely productive. So I'm gonna give those a go with my mixed plantings. So, yes, yes. Thank you all for uh, watching as this season kind of starts to get itself underway and I'm getting things growing and just hanging on to my wit's end with uh, a few of the things still growing from last year. Yeah, much love everybody. I will be back next week. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, take care of the things the universe puts in front of you and everything will be just fine.